Hi, my name is Mohsen, and I'm a doctoral candidate in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. It was around 12,000 years ago that our hunter-gatherer ancestors decided to try a farming lifestyle. Out of this new lifestyle, cities and civilizations grew, and our population skyrocketed. Well, long story short, we changed our surrounding environment. To provide food for our growing population, we wanted to know how the climate is going to change, right? Because of that, we trusted groundhogs to tell us how long the winter is going to last. When we were sure that groundhogs are not going to work, and no offense to groundhogs at all, we used satellite images and computer simulations within climate models. Climate models gave us temperature and precipitation variations over time. But what is the lifeblood of agriculture? Water, right? And that's where my research comes into play. The question that I'm trying to answer by doing research at NDSU is how climate-driven changes affect different water variables, such as snowmelt, soil water, and groundwater. What I do is essentially like a translator. Translators receive information in a specific language, process that in their mind, and give you information in a language that you can understand. My job is to receive climate information, process that using a computer model that I have developed, and give you information in the language of water resources. But why is it important, you may ask? Globally speaking, water demand is projected to increase by 55% by 2050. It's like telling you that your expenses will increase by 55%, but your income will remain the same. That's the point when you start Googling how to manage stress. <laughs> Results and outcomes from one of my studies in the Missouri River Basin, which produces nearly half of the wheat in the U.S., show that timing and distribution of snowmelt are highly affected by temperature variations. But it's not just about snowmelt. My model can give you up to 20 different water variables, such as surface runoff and soil water. Results from my model can help to come up with sustainable ways to allocate water to different sectors and answer important questions such as how changes in water resources can affect our lives. Thank you.